Doc, I had the nightmare again. I was in a room full of shoes, trail running shoes, road shoes, those with the drop, flat shoes, literally not knowing what to do. Is this serious? How to choose the right pair of running shoes, whether you run road or trail, can seem like a quite complex mission, but don't panic. You must first think about the type of running you do. This includes your personal biomechanics like your stride, the type of running you do, so how fast, how far and where, and your personal preferences like the feel for the terrain. There's no need to go to the laboratory full of scientists to find out exactly how you run. And even if you did, you should know that your stride changes depending on how far you run, differences in terrain and muscle fatigue. To identify your foot strike, you need to find out what part of the foot hits the ground first. The heel, the midfoot or the forefoot. If you have any questions, simply just film yourself running in slow motion using a smartphone. Your natural stride is what's best for you, so if you're not getting injured, don't change a thing. But if you do have pain that won't go away or repeated injuries, go see a sports medicine specialist who can analyze your form and suggest changes in, for example, in shoes. Knowing your foot strike is a great start towards finding shoes designed for your style of running, especially in terms of the drop, the height difference between the heel and the forefoot of your shoe. Another factor often presented as important in choosing running shoes is pronation, the angle between your heel and tibia. You can be a pronator, foot falls inward on contact, or a supinator, foot rolls outward on contact. Now that you're more conscious about your strike, you should now consider the type of terrain you're running on. If you run on trails, look for shoes that are designed for trail running. If you run on roads, be sure to get shoes designed specifically for running instead of tennis shoes or general sports shoes. After that, think about your goals and expectations. Are you planning on going for long runs or on runs that's less than an hour? What is your level of intensity? Do you run just to stay in shape or are you training for a marathon? By asking yourself these questions, you'll be able to find a range of shoes that best fits your needs. Now your goals, your preferences and the style of running should be all clear. If so, here are the features to look for when deciding for the best pair of running shoes for your needs. Feature number one, the drop, was the height difference between the heel and the forefoot of the shoe. A standard drop, greater than seven millimeters, is designed for runners who strike the ground with their heel first. A low drop, six millimeters or less, is similar to barefoot running and is designed for those who strike the ground with the midfoot or the forefoot first. If you want to know more about the drop, check out our video. Let's talk about cushioning and flexibility. Cushioning is the ability of the shoe to absorb shock when the foot hits the ground. Flexibility is the ability of the shoe to deform. Finding your ideal size will depend on many things. The length of the foot. The first thing to consider is having enough space between your toes and the end of the shoe. The width of your foot, either a wide or a narrow fit. And finally, sensitivity, because shoe size can also affect your overall running experience. Keep in mind that during the course of your run, your foot size can change depending on the length of your run and the temperature. These changes are usually minimum and you can simply loosen the laces to provide extra space. From a purely scientific point of view, a lighter shoe needs less energy to propel you through a complete stride. However, shaving weight off a shoe reduces comfort, stability and protection. Less than 200 gram shoes are generally designed for racing where performance is the key factor. However, majority of running shoes are usually between 250 and 300 grams. As a rule, road runners generally look for breathability in a shoe, especially in locations that are hot and dry. But if you're a trail runner, or for runners who like to get after the rain or shine, you would need shoes that provide protection against wet conditions by using, for example, a Gore-Tex membrane. Now, let's talk about lacing. There are two types of lacing systems available today. You got traditional lacing, which is the simple knot you use since you were a kid, and mechanical lacing, which provides constant tightness as well as quick and easy fine tuning. Both systems exist, so feel free to choose whichever makes you happy. Last but not least, let's talk about ethics. Having thousand pairs of shoes has an impact on the environment. More and more brands are aware of their responsibility and are trying to reduce their ecological impact by offering quality products. Keep this in mind when you're making your selection and consider buying from a brand that shares your own ethics and personal practices. Now when it comes to running shoes, your ultimate goal is to forget about them when you're running. So take your time and make the best choice. Now, go run!